good morning. I am at Humbug Mountain State Park this morning. It is October 7th and I'm going to start section 9 of the Oregon Coast Trail today. Uh, we drove here yesterday afternoon. We were able to get off work a little bit early. Um, it's about a five to six hour drive um, with some traffic to get here. We got here about 7 p.m. last night. We set up the tent, had some dinner, sat by the fire for a little bit, and then pretty much just went to bed. It is a little after 8 o'clock this morning, and we're going to drive um, north back up to Port Orford, and I'm going to start hiking where I uh, stopped at the end of section 8. I'm going to make up that mile, mile and a half that I skipped last time. Hopefully it's less windy. I'm back at Paradise Point, also called Garrison Beach State Wayside. This is where I got picked up at the end of Section 8. Uh, it's already feeling much different. There's no wind. Uh, it is a little bit foggy. But yeah, just getting everything all packed up and ready to go. I have about 1.2 miles uh, before I can meet up with Darren again. Ceridian uh, State Wayside, I think is what it's called. I just got started hiking for the day. The plan is to go 24 miles. Um, it's gonna be kind of a lot of little sections. Um, some parts on the beach, some on a road, some on trail. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna end at the north jetty of the rogue river today should be a good day Take it. Ban it. Let's go. I am one mile in. I'm almost to the wayside where I'm meeting Darren. And I'm so glad that I didn't do this mile at the end of the last section. It was so miserable walking into the wind, but today it's just been calm and peaceful and just so much more enjoyable. Alright, taking beach access 161. It's the trail that leads to a parking lot this way. I just left that wayside a little bit ago. I have a like 1.1 mile road walk to get to Battle Rock State Wayside, I think is what it's called, uh, where I'll get back on the beach. Look at that spider web.
Fort Orford right now. Battle Rock Wayside should just be up here just a little bit further. back on the beach have about two miles I believe uh, we're gonna take this little trail that leads to highway 101 uh, have to hike highway 101 for a couple miles and then we're gonna get on the old coast highway uh, but before any of that I have a really treacherous river crossing that I'm about to do let me show you just kidding thank goodness <laughs> You can kind of see Humbug Mountain in the clouds over there. Should be that mountain right there. What a beautiful morning. Bandit come. Come up, Bandit. You got my foot wet. I can go on this beach uh, there's a point behind me that you can't cross even when the tide is out so I found an Oregon Coast Trail marker up here and this trail is gonna take us to Highway 101 where we'll walk on the highway for about a mile and then we're gonna get on the Old Coast Road yeah marker is right up there you go on this way stand it come go up good job Fort Orford over there, it's where I came from. Wow, what a gorgeous day. Just finished this road walking part of the trail. It was about 1.7 miles. Now we're headed this way up Old Coast Highway. Should be a lot quieter. We're gonna follow this for I think about two and a half miles 
and it's gonna take us to Humbug Mountain State Park. take this trail towards the campground. So this is gonna lead us to Humbug Mountain State Park Campground, and that's where we camped last night. So our tent is there. Uh, Darren's not there right now, he's still fishing, but he should be here uh, within the hour. So we're gonna take a break at our camp spot. It's starting to feel like fall, all the leaves. Yeah, we made it to the campground. Our spot is to the right a little bit, so we gotta walk a bit further. This is the hiker biker area. So if you're through hiking or bike packing, you can stay at these spots. So this trail goes for about 1.5 miles and leads to a day use area still in Humbug State Park. So Darren is meeting me there and I should see him pretty soon. at 10 miles. I think we're getting pretty close to the parking lot where we're meeting Darren. The trail from there goes on Highway 101 for nine miles. I'm not gonna be doing that, so Darren's gonna be driving me down to Arizona Beach where we will get back on the beach for um, a couple miles and we'll go from there. I'll check in later.
I made it to the Humbug Mountain Day Use area. I've gone 10.65 miles so far today. Um, my husband Darren is here. He's gonna shuttle me about nine miles down Highway 101. See you when we get there. Made it to Arizona Beach. Have about two and a half miles to Sisters Rock. Uh, the tide's just right today because right up here between Arizona Beach and Sisters Rock where we're going there is sometimes an impassable uh, point but low tide today is at 2.30 and it's about 1.45 so the tide should be out far enough for us to get across. to time this just right. tides right I really only went like maybe to my thighs the water but then the tide would come in and splash everywhere so it was a little scary kind of fun this is sister's rock there should be a trail over here that's gonna lead us to highway 101 again where we're Meeting Darren. I just got dropped off. It's a little pull out up there. Climb down that little path and I'm heading 
to Nasika Beach. I think it's about three miles away. I've gone about 14 miles. So I think I have about 10 or 11 left for the day. It's a little after three o'clock. So I might not, I don't know, I might not be able to do all those today depending on how fast we go. I have to try to pick up the pace. Yeah, Bandit is with Darren. He's gonna go fishing, hang out with him for a while. Yeah, just so that I can try to push a little faster, I think. But yeah, beautiful day. The sun is out, but it's not super hot, so that's nice. Yeah, just gonna enjoy this walk. I'm trying to get this done a little bit faster. I don't want to be hiking into the night. So I ran the last couple miles on the beach and I'm taking beach access 171. See there's a trail marker there. I've gone 18 miles so far today. I'm coming up to the intersection of Naseka Road, which I've been walking on, and Highway 101. There should be a trail before you get to Highway 101 through the woods, uh, so I don't have to walk on the highway. I'm taking Old Coast Road. There's a marker on that post indica indicating to go this way. I think I'm going to be on here for about 2.5 miles. It's Old Coast Road intersects with Highway 101. We're going to just cross the street and keep going. Otter Point and the Oregon Coast Trail um, takes a right towards Otter Point and then you're on a trail for about a mile and then you get on uh, Bailey Beach and then you hike about two and a half miles on the beach to the mouth of the Rogue River. I am 20 almost 21 miles into my day today do not want to walk on the beach anymore at all. I am changing it up a bit and I'm gonna stay on this old coast road. It's not a busy road whatsoever and I'm gonna follow it to the mouth of the Rogue River. I'm just so tired of walking in the sand and it's uh, five, five o'clock. So, hopefully this will be a little bit faster and still beautiful and scenic, just not in the sand. miles into my day. I have 0.7 miles to the north jetty of the Rogue River. Not too much longer. I'm really glad that I'm walking on the road and not the beach. My muscles are so tired. 
yeah, I think I made the right choice. Plus it's starting to get dark. It's uh, about 5.30 I think now. I just saw a seal. I don't know if he's gonna come back up or not. Oh, there's a little head over there. I've made it to the north jetty of the Rogue River. I've gone 23.8 miles today, and it's about 5, 5.30ish, 5.36. So I'm gonna call it a, a day here today, and tomorrow I'm gonna start my day right over there on the south jetty. Yeah, I might check in later at camp, um, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye! Good morning. Today is October 8th. I'm at the south jetty of the Rogue River. Um, I have about eight miles to do today. About four and a half is going to be on the beach and then about three and a half on a trail to Cape Sebastian where Darren's meeting me. All right, let's get going. junction over here.
this looks relatively new. It's got the Oregon Coast Trail marker on there. Yeah. Taking a break, Bandit. Let's go. to the top of Cape Sebastian.